like to invite Mr. Mario Kolovrat from Avigilum to present this solution. As of 2017, Mr. Kolovrat is the Avigilum sales manager in charge for the Balkans region, managing a strong partner channel in seven countries and driving business to the next level with doubled growth. Mr. Kolovrat, you got the stage. Thank you very much. So I'm very glad to be part of this summit in a row. Unfortunately, this year virtually, but anyway, I think uh, you have done a great job even this, this year. Uh, I will start with my presentation uh, and I will speak about our most important, let's say, project or one of the most important projects in Bosnia and Herzegovina the last year. The idea behind this was that in, in initially we thought that this summit will be held in Sarajevo. So we choose one of the references or case studies uh, happening in Bosnia. Anyway, we'll speak about the border crossings in Bosnia and Herzegovina done with the superior next generation video analytics. So we are speaking about the more than 35 locations uh, with the more than 300 uh, channels of uh, high sophisticated uh, video uh, cameras and streaming solution, centralized solution, state of the art, artificial intelligence uh, in overall of this solution. The key challenges for these projects um, were high traffic, so pretty crowded environment um, very affected by the, let's say, different weather conditions, um, daily issues that the customs in Bosnia and Herzegovina is working on, so they need to take an action some time, uh, regulatory compliance as well. Um, after that, integration with the third party systems and future proof, -proof technology, so the technology that can stay reliable uh, for a long time. What was our answer? Our vigilant future-proof answer on this case was offering AI-powered solution, artificial intelligence powered solution, fully open platform that is able to connect different internet, internet of things uh, inside of it, very scalable, so we are speaking about roughly 40 different sites with several or tens of channel, but it can grow uh, in, with a multiple factor, easy of use, centralized platform in a manner that everything needs to be managed and centralized for different couple of different uh, uh, centralized locations. We have offered operational efficiencies, one of the fastest search engine to help the customs to react on time and to deal with the daily issues. Support 24 7, 365, and superior warranty offered by Avigilon. In terms of the platform, the platform offered was our well-known ACC, a Vigilant Control Center. And it is one of the first pl platform in the world that is offering artificial intelligence everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean uh, at the edge side, or if you want on the camera side, then in the central place where the recording and management of the uh, streaming is happening. And at the end, artificial intelligence on the monitoring side little bit more details later on. Fully open platform, as I mentioned earlier. So it can connect multiple different kinds of vendors, uh, different cameras can be integrated with the third party systems. One of the first platform that is speaking today that is 10K ready platform. Scalable proven platform that can work in environment with more than 10,000 channels. Before me, the colleagues today were speaking about the GDPR and 
since we are speaking about the Bosnia-Herzegovina that is with intention one day to be full part of the, uh, or if you want, full, full member of the European Union community, we were taking care also to deliver the solution that is fully GDPR ready and FIPS compliant uh, in terms of the cybersecurity for using for usage in government uh, applications. The last but not least important, fully open platform with a REST application programming interface for seamless integration with uh, any kind of third party systems there. About the cameras, entire project was running with uh, mainly two type of the cameras. The one was full HD camera, or if you want two megapixel camera, and the second one was 4K or eight megapixel camera. All the cameras with artificial intelligence at the edge, capable to classify and to react based on motion that is happening only from people and vehicles. One of the most important thing for this project was to find a way also to lower down the bandwidth needs because the bandwidth needs were pretty much limited. So we use the technology that we call HD, uh, cameras with the HDSM smart codec capable to stream over very low bandwidth networks. We offer highest level of the details, especially with the 4K cameras, fully compliant solution in terms of the cybersecurity, in terms of the GDPR, and in terms of the uh, safety of the human skin and eyes from the infrared light that is shooting out from the camera. At the end, resilient cameras, IK, IK10, uh, IP66, capable to work in a very heavy weather uh, conditions and vandal proof against any kind of external impacts. A vigilant recording and management solution here, we delivered a vigilant appliances like all in one solution. So kind of mini servers with embedded switching inside, optimized from the factory in house uh, for the video streaming with storage redundancy with a preloaded VMS. And one of the most important things, intelligent streaming to the central location to be able to deliver eight megapixel or if you want 4K technology over very limited amount of bandwidth. When I say over very limited, I mean uh, hundreds of kilobits per second. And at the end, automatic system upgrade for entire solution, which will lower down to the, to, the, to the lowest level, the downtime of the system during the maintenance process. And it will make the maintenance process much easier and much faster um, in this case. On the monitoring side, we offered our very professional, optimized workstations. We are developing them with our strategic technological partner, Dell, capable to represent the details of all the streaming on very intelligent way. It's a kind of uh, high dynamic range of showing the details within the scenes. So idea behind this is like WDR functionality that it's common sense for the cameras. We develop something uh, on a digital way that we can do the WDR also on the monitoring side uh, with idea to represent all the important details to the monitor and to the operator that is looking into it. Artificial intelligence powered proactive with a real time alert, alerts and with one of the fastest uh, analytics search in the industry. When I mentioned a couple of times about the powered by AI, 
So some of the features are already delivered. Some of them are on the roadmap to extend the system or to add the new functionalities. And I want just to mention some of them. When we say powered by AI, the idea behind that is not only to capture the video, but to add intelligence to make sense of what operator operators are seeing, empowering them to detect, verify, and act on time during the critical events. In this manner, we are speaking about our very powerful net generation video analytics, a visual on appearance search technology, facial recognition, unusual motion and activity detection, focus of attention, and license plate recognition. So one by one, a couple, uh, couple of more information about them. A visual self-learning, the, the, the word of self-learning means that there is no any manual calibration. And Tyra Analytics is developed in-house. And when we deliver on the market with our partners install the camera, cameras, everything starts to work out of the box and classification of people and vehicle starts immediately. Recently, we even did subclassification of the vehicles to be capable to classify and distinguish between cars, trucks, buses, motorcycles, and bicycles. One of the uh, great power of this analytics is that can work in a very, or medium, let's say medium to high crowded scenes where it's capable to classify and detect more than 50 objects simultaneously. Moreover, it's very optimized to work in a low light performance, giving great results even when the light conditions are dropping down. At the end, it's created to evolve. I will show you a couple of next, uh, some more information at the end, how these cameras can over the time just get more and more powerful analytics that some of our users can use and uh, with a simple upgrading of the firmware of the cameras. A visual on appearance search, like one of the most critical or mission critical uh, functionality that we are offering on the market. We are speaking about finding a person across different physical locations across entire system with a single click. Here, you can see one of the examples where we are finding concrete person in the, in the system over entire cameras installed there with all the results of that person based on the shape, based on the age, based uh, on the uh, colors, upper and lower body colors, based on the uh, face uh, characteristics. Unusual motion detection and activity detection is, uh, is one of our most revolutionary also analytics involved, uh, evolved uh, in last two years. It's self-learning, cumulative learning of the scenes where camera is learning for the scene, what is looking in within period of one week, and then the camera is capable to understand what typical scene look like. After that, it's capable to distinguish between typical and atypical events, to detect and flex unusual motion within the recordings, but also to alert for the people and vehicles traveling at faster speeds or uh, showing in a very unusual location. The camera was never seen uh, them before. License plate recognition as a part of entire solution with a regional support, with a data privacy protection, capable to handle different watch lists. So one of the watch lists to be related for incidents, another to be just for, uh, let's say, VIP alerting. Facial recognition as a fully new concept on the market. Um, 
where we are not looking just on the face of the person, but we are looking in a wider scope of the scene, capable to work in a very challenging condition, like a blur, like a, a, a night conditions when the camera goes in a black and white and with a very specific angles up to 90 degrees of the face. The system can after that alert based on a person. The person can be marked directly from our system, from our pl platform, or even we can upload reference in the images, out outsourced reference images. For this challenging year, going back to the next generation analytics that I told you that it's created to evolve. So a couple of new packages that we developed and released on the market as a response to the new disease crisis that we have or pandemic that we have uh, around the globe. So artificial package for preventing disease spread we can do the social distancing, so measurement between the distances between the people and make sure that all the measures are covered and are respected. Detection of the face masks, detect, detection of the elevated skin temperature, occupancy counting with automatic actions. If something needs to be closed or open, like a closed area, so no other person can enter before the, 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 the one went out. Um, and body-worn cameras for frontline staff, so very small badges for the frontliners, uh, medical uh, frontliners, for the police, for any kind of uh, government-involved parties in fighting uh, during this pandemic. Focus of attention, like one of the first artificial intelligence developed for the monitoring solution. So we are not speaking about the artificial intelligence only on the camera side or only in the core of the system, but also on the part that is visualization or graphic interface for the operators who are in charge uh, or managing and responding on a different actions. So this is one of the first concepts in the world, uh, getting artificial intelligence powered notification with a very intuitive interface, simple navigation and automatic, let's say grouping of the cameras in a honeycomb formation where every honeycomb basically can change the color depends on the priority or the risk of the event that is coming from, coming from that camera. So you can see on this picture, different colors, light blue, blue, red. We have some other colors like yellow, like uh, gray, uh, different notification on different pri priorities of the event. The great thing is that within this honeycomb structure, we can populate or we can represent if you want, also the third party integrated events from third party system that can be the fire, uh, detection system, it can be intrusion detection system, access control, any kind of building management systems and other. And the platform, when I say the platform is ready for the take K technology, um, I want to present one of the first cameras in the industry. When I say one of the first cameras, I mean on a single sensor camera. Uh, of the 10K with uh, artificial intelligence inside for the maximum scene coverage, one of the best in class image details for the wide areas with a great, excellent low light uh, performance. We have a patent on this, we call that light catcher with a fully embedded next generation video analytics capable to filter and to alert based on unusual activity and facial recognition. So that's everything from my side. Thank you for your attention. 
Thank you, Mr. Kolovrat, for this example from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, we have exactly two minutes and enough time to, for you to answer maybe two questions from our visitors. I would be more than glad. Okay. So the first question, question is, you talked about the installation in Bosnia and Herzegovina's border. Did you install the same system in other regional countries, especially in those of the European Union? And what challenges did it solve? So uh, this technology is capable, uh, is very capable. It's one of the most powerful technologies in the world today. And it's very attractive for high risky applications. When I say high risky application, I mean, I can speak regionally because I'm covering uh, countries from Macedonia to Slovenia. I can speak about the port of copper in Slovenia. I can speak about the Slovenian police. I can speak about the military uh, or Ministry of Defense in Slovenia. I can speak about uh, ports in uh, Gazinica in Croatia, port of Ploče, Sarajevo airport, Kosovo army, Kosovo uh, police, uh, border crossings in Slovenia, uh, stadiums that are pretty much critical environment, what kind of uh, challenges they are facing. The most important thing is that the information or the reaction time needs to be on the minimum amount of time be before it's too late to be done something, especially when we're speaking about this high critical, then the, the uh, recovery or any kind of big damage can happen. So they need to have fast uh, reaction time. We are offering this very uh, uh, streaming over very low bandwidth networks. So the resources are very relaxed and the information are just flow through the system response time in a millisecond. Thank you, Mr. Kolra. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you very much.